Hello, I'm Matt Stiles, a data analyst and reporter at the Texas Tribune. Today I'm going to walk you through some of our first data applications. The first one I'm going to show you is our elected officials directory, which has listings for 242 elected officials, including statewide officials, members of the Texas legislature, and U.S. Congress. From here, you can sort by district, sort by party, or physically click on a member's page to go to their profile. And there you can find information, personal profile, their political profile, contact information, uh, some demographic information about their districts, their election histories, and also their personal financial filings going back as far as they filed them. In addition, you can click on a member's district page and be redirected to that page where you can find more demographic information. You can also find an interactive Google map it allows you to zoom in on the boundaries of their district. You also get the same office holder information and election results back to 1992, even for previous holders of that office. Now another series of applications we have are in the library menu. We have things in here like campaign finance donations, the governor's appointees, partisan rankings of districts, one I want to show you today is the FEC, or Federal Campaign Donations, made to currently elected officials by political action committees. So as you can see here, uh, it's a typical search form, and you can filter a search based on an election cycle, or political party. You can also type in the name here. This is what we call a contained search. So John Smith will return John Smith, and Smith will return anybody with the last name Smith. You can filter by party, by various factors relating back to the committee. You can also filter by committee type, maybe election type, or the amount of the donation in a range. Here I'm going to type in, say, John Culberson. And you'll see you get a web form return back, which lists all the political action committee donations. You can sort this list by, say, donor to get that back in an ascending or alphabetic format. You can click on the amount total to be taken to a details page, which has more information about the transaction. And with all of our data sets, we're going to have this footer down here that tells you the source, when it was last updated, and a link to a web form where you can give us corrections or tips or suggestions. We're also going to have the option for you to download. So there are a few of our first data applications. Hope you enjoy them.